Hello, my name is Caleb Smith with the Rocket Miner newspaper, here to provide an update for November 13th, 2020. Had a number of things happening today, as with most days. I don't know if you got the chance to check out Governor Mark Gordon's press conference this morning, but I would strongly encourage people to look that up. It's shorter than some other press releases, and honestly, it's some of the angriest I've seen the governor in recent memory. Um, there's a bit of political theater when it comes to presenting arguments, um, convincing people to um, take your side. Uh, and, it's, and it shows quite a level of frustration from um, the leader of the state when he's referring to um, some irresponsible um, Wyoming residents as knuckleheads when it comes to attempts to try to curtail, slow down um, the spread of the coronavirus. Um, that's, uh, that, that's something where that you're seeing quite a bit of passion coming out of anybody who's using that in um, such strong terms and tone as the governor used today. Uh, he expressed um, great disappointment that for a decent portion of the year, Wyoming numbers remained low, some of the lowest in the state. Um, he noted that Wyoming, Wyoming was one of just three states that had a state fair. Um, many other places um, over some of the late summer and early fall months, that was just not an option. Um, if you, it's, while we tightened up a little bit in the spring, we generally saw um, some of the restrictions get lessened and we were able to see um, a greater number of um, gatherings allowed in indoor and outdoor places. And that was just fine as long as the numbers remained slow, controllable. Um, and we have just seen an upswing in the last, um, especially since partway through September is where things especially started to increase. And he said that, uh, according to White House statistics, we're some of the five, or it's where we're the um, fifth most highest state. It's according to some of the um, federal guidelines. And that's not a place you want to be. We, um, well, we know we can do better. We've already done better this year. And honestly, with where we're at right now, it will take considerable work um, to get things to a better place. Um, for all his frustration, the governor did not um, announce any new um, se severe restrictions, such as a mask order. Um, reporters asked him about it re repeatedly, and he said that he still prefers that um, the government touch be as light as possible, that we leave it up to people's personal recognizance. At the same time, he noted that that system right now is not presently working. And his One of his general messages was... Um, if the people don't do their part, um, um, additional government action will be required. And this isn't necessary to say that a uh, mask mandate is the, the one thing that's being considered. Um, there are multiple things that could be resources that can be drawn upon, but there's also just a limited number of resources when it comes to um, this same pandemic that we're facing a spike in Wyoming, like many other states are. We're watching our numbers go up. We're seeing um, more and more people being hospitalized, um, facing some of the more severe um, side effects of the coronavirus. And there is a tipping point that you need to be worrisome. Um, one of the things the governor said he talked about is that he like reached out to like the Texas governor. They said that we've been in similar places. And one thing to note is that the numbers you have now, um, you're a little bit behind it's our, uh, because of how long it takes for um, transmission and for um, the symptoms to to um, get to the point usually where people get tested. Most people, they wake up in the morning feeling fine. They're not just going to schedule a test later that day. Plus the amount of time it takes for the results to get back, which uh, is something that is uh, adding to the wait time. Um, said that this is, this is probably where the cases were about a week or two ago, and not to be surprised if things um, accelerate quickly. Um, in Carbon County School District Number 1, uh, Rollins High School, um, this afternoon they announced that just the high school was switching to virtual education, and they were canceling all sports and other activities through the end of the month as they um, kind of got a, or took time to review where things were at. Uh, in that school district, uh, the cases were concentrated at the high school, and at this point, the other schools in the uh, 
and Carbon County number one aren't being impacted. But that's the type of thing that we could quite possibly be seeing um, here, if not elsewhere across the state, where um, some cases it is accelerating. I would also point you to a wildfire Casper Star Tribune story uh, on the Rocket Miner website, um, looking at the um, how more than one college, including the University of Wyoming, has announced that um, a s earlier switch to virtual education than anticipated. A lot of places built in that, okay, we're going to get to Thanksgiving break, and after that, all virtual. Uh, number of um, more than one school district or col college um, are getting called on that earlier than anticipated. Like I said, I would strongly well invite you to check out the, the governor's comments. Um, I found them illuminating, and if anything, it is always interesting to see when um, your pe the people in charge are, are talking a little bit more unfiltered. I think you get a uh, bit of a gist better about what they're thinking. Now, the good news is that we still have... Um, um, we still have our local school districts remain open. Um, school district number two um, in Sweetwater County has noted that they're um, making some possible preparations and training if they have to go um, the hybrid system, which would be part in-person instruction, part virtual, or the tier where it would be pretty much all virtual. Um, well, classes are open. That means that Green River High School is um, currently ho hosting productions of Clue on stage. Uh, by the theater department. Um, that's something where um, they're having a limited number of people in their audience, um, only up to 250 seats available in person. Or there's also a streaming option. Um, we have our we have a story on the Rocket Miner website, or you can go to the Green River High School Theater uh, Facebook site for more information. Um, similarly, um, our weekend edition will have an in-depth um, piece on Western Wyoming Community College's video on demand production of the Pirates of Penzance. Um, talking a little bit more about the challenges it face and face where and, and the and there's some positives too where um, people are performing for a camera, um, lack of an audience, but also more time to review your stuff and and also taping multiple performances, uh, picking the best ones which will be put together. Um, people will be able to start streaming that starting on Tuesday, November 17th. And just in general, uh, it's, it's really great that, that we have um, talented people in our school districts, at our college, willing to put this stuff together. I myself came from a public school um, district in Missouri where there's at least one production in my past where if I could have gotten away with forgetting to tell mom when and where that show was going to be, I would have seen if I would have gotten away with that because... Uh, yikes. A um, few things as fun as a person messing up their line on stage and cursing quietly to themselves, but being mic'd so the audience responds to um, said vulgarity that wasn't supposed to be there, and then the person's reacting to the audience's reaction to that vulgarity and a further breaking down a character, and people on stage, including Officer 2 here, trying not respond to the actor's response to the audience's response of the... Um, foul language being used. Um, I always have a soft spot for Arsenic at Old Lace. But that's something that, um, like I said, we have um, something that we can take advantage of. And for those people who are um, choosing to um, limit their contact with the public, um, to be part of limiting the spread, um, like I said, video on demand options, um, that's something that uh, the, one of the things I liked about the Western is that um, they didn't change the price of their tickets when they started the video on demand option. It's the same price it normally would be to be sitting in this in the, in the seats, um, as it would be sitting on your couch. And having taken advantage of the college's production when they had um, had the um, dancing at um, Lugana, Lugana, I'm sure I'm butchering that. Sorry. Um, that was one where I appreciate being able to sit at home, watch that with. Um, tub of popcorn, cat within stroking distance on the back of the couch. Um, I um, it was different, but I enjoyed it greatly. 
And I guess just one other thing out there, maybe, maybe it's, um, in addition to your uh, theatrical options, um, there's one big finale coming up, which is the six-man football championship, of which Farce and Eden um, is hosting tomorrow. Um, the game kicks off at 1 tomorrow at Farce and Eden High School. Due to some of the weird fallout of COVID-19 restrictions across the state, the Wyoming High School's Activities Association made the decision that... Um, at, for six-man football, the team will be hosted by the number one team from the West, which is our currently undefeated 10-0 and Pronghorns. They'll be facing off against 8-1 and Matitsi. And I know this is going to be a great game. Having watched, I watched the semifinals last week. Great game. When it's um, The Pronghorns were kept honest by encampment, but they pulled off the win in the final minutes, um, pulling ahead late and um, just hanging on when, when it counted. Um, Matitsi's looking for some revenge because the only loss on their record during the regular season came at the hand of the Pronghorns. They're looking for revenge. Uh, both teams are looking forward to, for a um, state title. And Farson Eden's theme for this year has been unbroken. Um, this is their last and most important test to see if that is what they can, um, that they can achieve by the end of this year. Um, so like I said, lots of options in Sweetwater County. Um, as always, the general advice is to wear a mask when you're out around other people, um, especially when you can't maintain a social distance of at least, at least six feet. Um, wash your hands um, frequently, uh, properly. Um, if you're feeling sick, um, stay home, stay away from other people. Um, and like I said, try, try to limit your interaction as much as possible. This is going to be a long, tricky winter. And... Um, for those people who have been abiding by these guidelines all this time, hang in there. I know you're more tired than most, but it's important that you keep in there. For those people who haven't been doing it as much or been a little bit spotty, um, the governor talked about personal accountability and how that's the best possible system. Um, it's better to ask people to be on the honor system and do what they know to, than they need to be than to bring in somebody else to, um, to police it, to enforce it. Um, we have so many things going on. Is that really the best use of our time and resources? Um, while he didn't give a specific guideline, a timeline, or scenarios that would trigger that would go to some of these more statewide, more restrictive bits, um, having been watching the governor's updates for several months, um, dating back to uh, March, I can really only think of one other time where I saw him quite as incensed as he was. Um, during a press conference, and even then, I think this was this beats it by at least well, one or two levels on my unofficial. Couldn't actually quantify it list if I had to, but just unofficially speaking, um, personally, I was telling people around the office today I would be surprised if we don't have a statewide more statewide mandates by the end of the month. Um, with the way that we're seeing hospitalizations and and other um, other target areas that the state keeps an eye on, and I also encourage you all to just go ahead. And Maybe bookmark the Wyoming Department of Health website when it comes to um, COVID-19. That's a lot of good information there. You can kind of keep an eye on some of the um, red light, green light, yellow light um, indicators that the states um, highlighted as things that they're watching closely. Um, number of positive tests, number of people hospitalized, number of people at ICU beds, um, that type of thing. That information is all out there. You can help keep yourself educated and spread the word. We want you to be safe. We want you to be self healthy. We want you to make the most of the opportunities you, ha you have. Uh, and we will hope, hope to be part of you uh, doing all those things here at the Rocket Miner. So this is Caleb Smith, Smith wishing you a good day and a safe tomorrow. Bye.